Alright, hello and uh, welcome back to uh, Dark Souls. We are in the uh, the city of the gods, San Orlando. It's an amazing, amazing place. It really, really looks fantastic. Uh, just the the kind of place that you you I I just never get bored of. It just looks so fantastic. Hello? Hello, giant. Hello? In uh, in the chest over there is some demon titanite. It's not really something that I feel is worth taking on two of those at the same time to, to get. It's also way easier to just go in there and, and pick that up later on uh, when... Uh, when we've we've taken care of uh, Gwendolyn, and here we have a bonfire and uh, a bonfire keeper. Well, you are a rare visitor. Welcome to the lost city of Anorlando, chosen undead. If you seek Lord Gwyn's old keep, exit here and head straight yonder. If you are the chosen one, a revelation shall visit thee. What follows thereafter depends upon you. And we can finally use uh, our uh, Firekeeper soul to reinforce uh, the Estus flask. We only have one of them. Hmm. What is it? What am I? Well, I am the keeper of the bonfire. If not for me, what beacon would there be in this lost city? A gatekeeper and a guide. That is my calling. The bonfires attended by the keepers are special. They are linked to one another, and their flames never die. Yet never shall the keepers of these flames meet. If you require rest, now is the time. That is, after all, what the bonfire is for. So she's talking a little bit about what we uh, what we discussed uh, earlier in the playthrough as well, where the uh, the bonfire keepers can uh, can never meet because they can't leave their their uh, well their, their bonfires really. Uh, if they leave the bonfires unattended, then the bonfires will will no longer work. Um, she. Uh, She's also alluding to the fact that uh, that the Anolando is kind of a kind of a barren city right now because the this was and this was the the the, the city of the gods but uh, all of the gods have uh, have left Anolando except for one and uh, this uh, used to be the home of uh, of Gwyn and all of his uh, all of his family But as uh, as Gwyn left uh, An Orlando to go and uh, and kindle the uh, the first flame, all of the other gods left the the city as well. And here we get uh, another chance for uh, the uh, the gar gargoyle axe uh, tail cut, which is not not important to us because we already have it, but. Uh, This is uh, one out of out of two enemies where you can actually get that in the game. We could get another one if I manage to get the tail cut. But I I somehow am am managing not to. It doesn't really matter too much to us right now. But, uh, and uh, we can hop down here and uh, pick up a uh, demon titanite I think is in there yeah I still hear the uh, the elevator going up and down and the the big building over there that, that we we need to go in 
go into, like the the bonfire keeper said. The only way that we can get around is uh, is going up here. see a, a statue of, uh, of Guinevere with uh, some silver knights on the side. There's an item on the chandelier there as well. Some more painting guardians up on the on the rafters up there. And the uh, the window being broken here like we might as well talk about this right now. We have a, a big ass painting there, but on the side of the painting there, that's where the, the corpse of Tarkas is. Um, supposedly. We, we can't say for sure that it is Tarkas down there, but uh, it ha the, the corpse uh, has uh, all of his armor. So the implication being that, uh, that Tarkas made his way through Sans Fortress and then he, he went into this place but he, he fell down or was killed by the by the uh, painting guardians at the at the bottom and could not make it further and that's kind of a just a, a theory based off of where where the all of his armor can be found and and whatnot. So it's it's not something that ex is uh, explicitly stated, but uh, because we we f we have him as a as a summon for the iron golem in the incense fortress, that uh, implies that uh, that Tark is actually beat uh, iron golem in his world and is now like offering his help to other people that have uh, have issues with it. So. The uh, the implication there being that he uh, he made it through Sans Fortress, but uh, he he could not traverse an Orlando. And up on these these little precarious. Like rafters or whatever you want to call them, you. I, I just like to go very slowly and uh, and just be careful, because it had ha has happened more than once that I've I've fallen down stupidly there. And we also down down there we see a, a big big painting that was also mentioned in the uh, the item description of the peculiar doll. So we we know that something is up with the with the painting, or thanks to to that item description. If we go over here, uh, I think we can pick uh, up a divine blessing. Which makes sense because of the uh, the the Guinevere reference in the 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 uh, statue over there. Fill up on on some some help, and we make our way back again. Oh, 
we can already see some of the enemies that we have uh, have to face later on and uh, <laughs> another another gargoyle is uh, is already mad at us I also thought that uh, that this one would not have the tail. Maybe it does if you don't get the second tail. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe, maybe I was just wrong there. Maybe you can get the, the axe from this guy too. But. Like I said before, it doesn't really matter too much to us because we already have it. And we're not going to use it anyway, so... get the rest of the uh, the gargoyle set um if you kill all of the all of the gargoyles you will end up with all of the the items from from their drop table eventually and uh, now we also have uh, the the road back to like over there is the the elevator that we went down and then we went to the side uh, to to go into to the that building so now we have uh, that I mean, the, this elevator is now activated, and we can uh, we can use that to uh, um, well to to go over here, really. But we can also run down here now, and this is this place we we don't need to check that out yet that's not well maybe we should because we knocked the the thing down from the chandelier I'm not i'm not a hundred percent sure that it will still be there if we come back here much later on in the game so i just want to make sure that we we get the get that picked up and uh, don't have to go up and drop that down again I don't think you have to drop it down again, but uh, I'm not 100% sure, so we'll just do it now, even though we're not not gonna move into the uh, to the painted world just yet. Great magic weapon sorcery. Not very useful, but there's a pickup that we that we wanna wanna get. Some some weird They do deal quite a bit of damage when you when you let them and uh, taking these guys on one at a time is uh, is typically very very easy but uh, as soon as you get more of them they they become substantially harder to to get a grip of. Oh, 
over here being the uh, the corpse of uh, of Tarkus. Even though we can't know for sure that this is actually Tarkus, I'm just gonna say that it is because that that's what I believe. So we we get the uh, the black iron black iron set, which is uh, a really heavy set. Black uh, uh, armor of black iron Tarkus, a knight known for his great strength, built uh, of a special black iron and providing strong defense, notably against fire, but so terribly heavy to be unwieldy to all but Tarkus, Tarkus himself. He was a uh, particularly strong person. And uh, we don't want to move into the the painting just yet. We're gonna do that a bit later on. I want to be a little bit a little bit better prepared before I go into that because uh, it's uh, a, a little bit of a step up in in difficulty. I I feel like and I uh, want to be a bit more prepared. But for now, we wanna we wanna lower this elevator contraption thingy down one more level so that we can get a look in the tomb. Here we see a, a big statue of uh, of Gwyn. And a long, long row of, uh, of of silver knights on the wall. Supposedly graves for for the silver knights. Ring of the Sun's Firstborn. Lord Gwyn's firstborn, who inherited the sunlight, once wore this ancient ring, boost strength of miracles. Lord Gwyn's firstborn was the god of war, but his foolishness led to the loss of the annals and receding, rescinding of his uh, deific status. Today, even his name is not known. So, uh, it's really a, a mystery. I mean, it's kind of still a mystery because we, we never get the, the name of, uh, of, of that, um, that person at all. Even, I mean, he is, uh, he is a boss in, in Dark Souls 3, but he's still just a, like a, a nameless, nameless, uh, person. Or, well, not really person either. I mean, he's, he's a god. But, uh, well, he was a god. He lost his deific status because of his foolishness. But we, we don't know really what his foolishness was either. I, I don't think. Um, I'm, I'm really, really not as into the, the lore of, uh, of Dark Souls 3. So uh, I, I may have missed something there. But I, I don't think that we... We get the information of actually what he did to to deserve being like exiled from uh, from An Orlando and uh, losing his uh, his status as a as a god. These bastards. Um, so the the way that I like to go through this is because these guys are, are really a pain to uh, to take care of. I like to just kind of run through this area, <clears throat> and sometimes if sometimes I get unlucky and get hit by them, but uh, that, that's usually fine. Us usually manage 
with a little bit of care. I lost, I lost a bit of um, my health there. Pro I'm not really sure why. I think it was because of uh, like a weird fall damage thing that you get sometimes. So we'll try this again. So the the archers here are enemies that have uh, have been been a really difficult thing for for new players ever since the game was released. Basically, one way that you can actually cheese them is uh, by instead of uh, instead of going up here and killing them, you can actually stand. Oh, I'm just gonna take care of this, and we'll I'll, I'll show a little bit better. You, you can actually stand where all of those um, gargoyle thingies down there are. Like if you kill those off and you stand down there, you can actually use the the black bow of Ferris and uh, some uh, poison arrows to actually poison the, uh, the uh, these guys from down there. And then you can just stand there and wait until they are uh, they die, basically. So if you if you clear out that area down there from the enemies, and then you you can just stand there with the black bow of Ferris and uh, poison arrows, and uh, you can get them. You because you like you have the reach for them to be poisoned, but uh, you don't have the reach for them for arrows to actually uh, do uh, physical damage to them. But uh, you you can clearly see when you land a, an arrow on them, and uh, if you just shoot some arrows on them, they will eventually get poisoned and uh, they 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 die after a while. And through this window here, we can see Solaire and uh, and our bonfire. So let's uh, let's go in and say hello to Solaire. summoning out there? Anytime you see my brilliantly shining signature, do not hesitate to call upon me. You've left me with quite an impression. I would relish a chance to assist you. You really are fond of chatting with me, aren't you? If I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for me. Oh no, dear me, pretend you didn't hear that. <laughs> do have feelings for you. We we all have feelings for you, Solaire. You really are fond of chatting with if oh. Okay. Um this also being uh, uh one of those bonfires that I, I I would like to kindle. Yes. Uh I, I would have liked to have a 20 Estes flask here to be honest, but uh for, for right now, this is uh, what we have to deal with. And now we've reached the uh, the goal of our endurance. We still need uh, the uh, the um, a ring of favor and protection, though, before we can get full use out of that. Maybe if we take that off. No. No, I don't. I don't want to change up too much. Um, Could probably use our uh, boulder helmet now, though. I really don't like the boulder helmet. It's it's just really really ugly. Well, the dingy doesn't really work too well with this either. Better than the boulder one, but I think we're just gonna stick to the thief mask because it, it looks so much better than. <laughs> The boulder helmet is just ugh. It's just ugh. That's all it is.
will be will be almost uh, a, a boulder cosplay. In here we have uh, what looks like uh, scrolls, a whole bunch of them. There, there are kind of two theories to this. Uh, some people would say that this looks like uh, bones, and uh, some people would say that it looks like scrolls. Um, I, I would, I think it looks more like scrolls than than bones, but uh, the the, um, the theories that the both of them have. Uh, well, yeah, the theory is for, for each of them is that uh, it would be bones and uh, that is because uh, Smo, one of the bosses of the area, is an executioner and he is actually a cannibal that would, would eat the, the people that he executes. And uh, this, this would supposedly be his, uh, his little, I don't know, collection of bones. Um, I'm under the impression that it, it is... Uh, probably scrolls because of the hidden area back here i think it would make more sense because down here we can find the armor set and weapon of uh, havel and the havel is a bishop and uh, havel is is researching ways to uh, to kill off the gods basically so he has his uh, his hideout of stuff here, with his uh, his dragon tooth and his uh, complete armor and and everything. We're gonna take a look at the uh, the dragon tooth at least. That says, created from an everlasting dragon tooth, legendary great hammer of Havel the Rock. The dragon tooth will never break at it as as it is uh, harder than stone, and it's. And it grants its wheel the resistance to magic and flame. So th these are all the the, the things that uh, that that Havel would have worn earlier on in the in the playthrough. We found his ring, but uh, now we found the rest of his stuff. There's also a mimic here that uh, holds uh, a very interesting item to be placed in in this particular room. So from this mimic we get an occult club. The occult weapons they are specifically designed for uh, fighting the gods, and uh, that was exactly what what Havel set out to do, which is uh, why they hid him away in the uh, in the watchtower basement. And it's also why I I believe that those uh, those things are his uh, his scrolls more likely than uh, than the, the uh, Smo's bone collection. Because Smo couldn't even couldn't even enter that room. Like he, he's too big for it. Wouldn't really surprise me all that much if if Smo actually had a collection of of bones somewhere but uh I, I don't think it's that in that room and uh, yeah th those are kind of my reasonings too early One of the hardest uh, the uh, Titanite demons to fight because he is in such a small room. 
That's uh, that's a pretty tough fight in there. Especially if you if you're not a person that wanna use shields, it's it's really really tough. Uh, a trophy room with uh, a bunch of a bunch of Drake heads. Alluding to uh, another one of the bosses in this area, Ornstein, the 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 dragon slayer, dragon hunter, whatever. No, I don't want to want to be be caught by you. I don't want to be eaten. We got a gold coin and we also got a a, a silver coin before. Um, it's not really any any interesting information on there either. It just kind of states what what the the copper coin did as well. That uh, the coins in in this world is kind of useless and uh, it, it's used outside of Lordran, but uh, in uh, in Lordran it's it's kind of a well, it's just a useless thing to have because coin is not a not a, an accepted currency. Through this little little window, we can see Siegmeier that he has made it all the way here as well. If he got in through this window, I have no idea how he did it because he is it. He doesn't seem like the the agile type, but. Uh, Good on him if he did. We have a painting of uh, of Guinevere. There's some some semi interesting paintings there in this place. Some of the uh, some of the paintings around An Orlando is uh, actually the uh, kind of uh, prototypes for for the game, or like the concept art for the game. There's not really any of uh, of it in there, but we will see later on a uh, specifically a painting of uh, one of the, the giants. That is a little bit more interesting, but we'll we'll find that in uh, down here where next to Sigmar. New. by the silver knights oh, don't be ashamed it is the fate of vanguards like you and i i'll think of something we can overcome this together this is quite a fix we'll need another three no maybe five bodies hmm quite a fix indeed I, w I wonder how we made it this far with, uh, without being able to take care of the Silver Knights. But uh, him saying that we need another another five people to to get through these these two night or oh, three nights is uh, is quite interesting. Giants, where they uh, 
are depicted way way bigger than they are in in the game now this uh i'm I'm not sure what this is of, but it, it kind of looks like the new londo thing. Was a painting of Anor Londo, I'm guessing. Hey, we did it. Mm -hmm. Oh ho! What's on your mind, friend? Wait, you defeated those monsters? Fantastic! I'm saved. This knight of Katarina hereby commends you. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Tiny beings ring. But be warned. Gallantry entails great risks. Next time, give me a chance to come up with a plan. Well, you had a plan. I, I just didn't go with your plan. Be warned. Next. And uh, the uh, tiny beings ring is uh, one of the starting gifts that you can have. Is just a ring that gives you a little bit of uh, of health. Kind of useless. Except for those rare occasions where you, when you, you really need just a tiny, tiny sliver of health. Get some Dragon Slayer arrows. If we plop down here, and here is the uh, the Titanite Demon. But we want to go in here first to unlock the shortcut up there. So we we don't have to go through all of all of this again. The Silver Knight set. <laughs> Armor of the Silver Knight to protect An Orlando. When Lord Gwyn departed to fire uh, to link the fire, his knights split into two groups. The Silver Knights remained in the Forsaken Capital in the service of their gods. So these are the ones that that stayed behind to to guard An Orlando as. Uh, Gwyn went away with the rest of them to uh, to kindle the flame. Now, let's try to take care of of this guy. The really finicky and, and weird fight in here because it's such a small area, but we'll do what we can. Thank you, finally. Uh, we we were rewarded with two Titanite, uh, the Demon Titanite, and uh, a little bit of souls. So I'm gonna go down here and just uh, just get my my Estes back, just the rest of the bonfire a quickie, and uh, then we'll head back up again. 
Okay, so now we can continue in here and uh, we... Yeah, a few giants down here as well and they look a little bit different than the ones outside. It's a tiny, tiny bit different because they have uh, some miracles that they can use. They can, uh, they can heal, and they have uh, wrath of the gods as well, which uh, are uh, things that they, the the ones outside don't have. I, I don't think, or if I'm not misremembering. Yeah, you can see that the the ones outside they don't have the, the blue like, uh, tabard or whatever it is uh, on them. We get the uh, Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum. Missed it somehow. There. Bow of the Dragon Slayers, led by Hawkeye Goth, one of Gwyn's four knights. This bow's unusual size requires it uh, requires that it be anchored to the ground when fired. Only uses special great arrows. That's the the first mention of uh, of a Hawkeye Goth in the in the game, but he is uh, another one of uh, of the four knights of, of Gwyn. We've uh, we've discussed that as well, but uh, this is the the first actual mention of it in game that we've seen. We have a, a giant, the giant blacksmith in there, but if we go down here, we can get a, at least an interesting item, or not very interesting, but a, a very useful item. Okay. Come on, buddy. Okay. And I didn't think that, that would would work. But they they do a little bit of uh, of lightning damage with their their weapon, which is why I take damage through my shield as well. We have a titanite chunk there. Not not super interesting, but uh, useful. We can also go up here and open up this door if we we want to use that as a as a shortcut later on. The, the blacksmith of, uh, of Anor Londo. Who are you? Forge your weapons. So this is the guy that you, that you want to go to if you want to uh, modify your weapons into uh, the the boss weapons. If you want to use the, the boss uh, souls to create uh, different weapons. And the giant armor made from ancient brass is also offered uh, offers protection versus non-physical attacks, but due to its uh, giant size, it is extremely heavy for humans and impedes stamina recovery. It's a super super heavy armor set, but uh, very very good uh, physical defense. It's super good. We have a. A chest that uh, is supposed to be able to get to there. And from there we get the hawk ring. It's an interesting piece of ring. Um, there. One of the special rings granted to the four knights of Gwyn. The hawk ring belonged to Hawkeye Goth, who led the, the great archers. Boosts bow range, so that our arrows fly like they were shot by Goth's great bow, which took down high-flying dragons. We're gonna meet uh, Hawkeye Goth later on, or Go, whatever you wanna pronounce the name. Um... And he he will actually mention this uh, this blacksmith as well, and I I kind of I kind of really like that you find his his ring with uh, this blacksmith because they 
They they kind of seem like they they were uh, like old pals. And, uh, I really like that. If we come down here, we see that the the black eye orb is a quivering. So we we want to go in and. Uh, and he used that one. It was a little bit unfortunate that he came. Move over to the other side then. the world of the of the guilty that uh that took away our firekeeper and what do you know it's Lotrek Lotrek the guilty with uh, with two helping hands now again if you had a, a if you have the the black bow of ferris and uh well, I mean, the hawk ring would help too, but um, if you had at least the black bow of Ferris, you could uh, just poison him from here without them ever attacking you. If uh, if you just started shooting him from, from where you're standing right here, you'd be able to poison him and then you could just wait for him to die and then you, you'd be done with this. Um, because you only need to, you only need to kill, um, you only need to kill, um, Law track. You don't have to kill the other ones. And the one on um, on the left side there, on our left, he is wearing the crimson set. So he has uh, he is either one of the sealers from New Londo, or he's uh, taken the the the, the sealer set from. The, the the the, the true sealer like a moth flittering towards a flame you fellows no don't you agree <laughs> but usually usually with this fight it's uh if you're comfortable with doing a little bit of parrying is uh, is usually the easiest to try to bait out some attacks from Lotrek so that you can actually parry him to death instead of, of trying to take this uh, group on all at once. Because dealing with this uh, this sealer with the with, with his soul arrows and stuff is is really not <laughs> really not the, the the most fun that you can have in there. So it's usually easiest to just try to take care of of law track that way. And now we get our, our fire keep a soul back, and we get the the ring of favor and protection and five humanity. Um, the ring of favor and protection being. Uh, um, a ring symbolizing the favor and protection of the goddess Fina, known in legend uh, to possess fateful beauty. This ring boosts where its wearer's HP, stamina, and max equipment load, but breaks if ever removed. So if you put this on, you can never remove it, um, or it will break. And it uh, boosts the wearer's HP, stamina, and max uh, equipment load by 20%. So it's really good but uh you you definitely making a choice there when you're putting it on because you can't take it off without breaking it and we find the uh, the firekeeper soul uh soul of the ash maiden fire firekeeper of firelink shrine 
Um, a firekeeper's uh, soul is a draw for humanity and hel held within their bosom, below just a thin layer of skin, are swarms of humanity that writhe and squirm. As the ash maiden lo locked in this uh, dark prison for some... Was the ash maiden locked into this dark prison for some transgression? Or by her own will? Well, we don't know why she was locked in there, but we we can use that to to get our bonfire back and uh, to get uh, Anastasia back as well. For now, we want to open up this door and uh, let some sunlight in, and then to have a shortcut, I guess. Um, what I like to do here before the boss, especially because we are going to try to get Solaire in there, is uh, to try to take care of these guys without without losing too much. And that is the Wrath of Gods. And he can also drop down and do a, a healing prayer. I just find it to be a, a, a good thing to do to remove these before summoning Solaire because uh, uh, otherwise he might get caught in them and and, and stuff like that. Um, I probably won't if I have to do the the, uh, the boss repeatedly, but. Uh, for the. Uh, for the first time that I try, I will I will do that at least, and then after that I will just you will just have to do as I say, not as I do. Okay, so we're left with uh, with nine Estes, but we also have 19 humanity, so we we should be fine. The uh, Ornstein's Mao fight with Solaire is, uh, it, I mean, sometimes it works out like stupidly well that it, it is it just gets like ridiculously easy to uh, to do this fight but uh, sometimes it, it just kind of gets really messed up too so we will we, we'll kind of just have to see what uh what what this turns into we'll just wait until uh until solaire makes it here but definitely uh like one of the more iconic well maybe the the most iconic boss uh, fight in the the entire game and it, it's such a such a roadblock for uh, a lot of people like the first roadblock being the the gargoyles but then you you get past the gargoyles and most people have uh, not not too much issues with the with the rest of the bosses and then you get the or to uh, to ONS and uh, really the only only uh, like good advice for this boss is to to just try to be be very careful and uh, like back off all the time basically and just try to try to uh, choose the the times that you uh, that you attack wisely and um, it kind of depends a little bit about a uh, little bit on what. Uh, which of them you want to kill first. Um, I would prefer to get uh, Super Ornstein on this uh, playthrough because I have a, uh, a stabbing attack on this. Uh, the Leo Ring could be a little bit useful for me, but uh, I, I don't really care too much which one of them I, I, uh, I kill first. So yeah, we'll see how it goes.
So this time, uh, Solaire made it very, very easy for me. We were able to very easily just divide and conquer in the uh, the first uh, bit of uh, of uh, the uh, the fight. The interesting thing about the 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 fight itself and the 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 cutscenes is uh, that uh, Ornstein and Smau they they were like battlefield compatriots. They they were fighting together, but. Um, uh, Smo was always very jealous of, of Ornstein because Ornstein is one of uh, the four knights of Gwyn, whereas uh, Smo was never never inducted in, in, in that knighthood, probably because he was an executioner that ate people. But uh, he was very uh, jealous of, uh, of Ornstein. And you can clearly see that in the cutscene in the, in the middle of the fight when you kill one of them because... Ornstein, he, he just smashes his, uh, or the Smo, he just smashes Ornstein when he, when Ornstein dies, uh, to, um, to get his, uh, his power. But, um, if you instead kill Ornstein, uh, or Smo first, I mean, then Ornstein will, will take on Smo's power, but Ornstein does it way more gently and kind of like, Kind of like saying, saying like his respects to his uh, to his fallen comrade as well. But uh, Smo is a, is a little bit more, a little bit more um, aggressive with the, the entire thing. So here we have uh, another statue of Gwyn. We have uh, Gwyn, Gwynevere, and. The firstborn son who has uh, had his uh, statue removed because he, he lost his deific status. I would really want to know why, but uh, I'm not, not sure if I'm, if I'm ever gonna, gonna find that out. Oh, you, you see that uh, throughout Anne Orlando that, uh, that his, uh, his like stuff has been removed from from this place like you can see it clearly see that there are mis missing statues that uh that they have just uh, removed and in here we can find the uh, uh armor of favor the armor of favor is is lotrek's armor of course uh, armor of lotrek the embraced representing the goddess fina's love the goddess's arms wrap wrap around it as if to embrace its wearer so we 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 don't really know a whole lot about the the the, the whole thing about law trek but he he was worshiping fina and we don't really know much about fina either really he, he was a bad egg that uh, that that stole our our firekeeper soul. That that's kind of the important bit. Speaking of important bits, thou hast journeyed far and overcome much, chosen undead. Come hither, child. Oh, I will come hither. Um, oh, chosen undead, I am Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Queen of Sunlight. Since the day Father is formed in obscurus, I have awaited thee. I bequeath the Lord Vessel to thee. And beseech thee, succeed Lord Gwyn, and inheriteth the fire of our world. Thou shalt endeth this eternal twilight, and avert further undead sacrifices. The so Guinevere is uh, is continuing on with what uh, what Frampt said that uh, our our goal is to succeed Lord Gwyn and to. To rekindle the flame with uh, with our own own body, 
and we get the Lord Vessel, bestowed upon this chosen undead who is destined to succeed Lord Wick Gwyn. The chosen undead is granted the art of warp in between bonfires. To open the final door, place this vessel on the Firelink altar and fill it with powerful souls. But as 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 we 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 kind of know already, like uh, th this is not Guinevere. We we can see on. Uh, we didn't get a. No, I think we need to wait. wait. Oh, Do we need to join again. the covenant now to get the journey? Since the day father. Yeah, no. It's just. Let's enter the covenant. Get the ring of the sun princess. Hereafter, if thou so needest, I shall devote all to thine safety. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Now thou shalt go forth, chosen undead. May thou be one with the sunlight forevermore. Uh, ring of the Sun Princess. This uh, ring is granted to those who enter a covenant with Guinevere, daughter of Lord Gwyn and Princess of Sunlight. This slightly warm ring boosts the synergy of miracles. The Princess of Sunlight Guinevere left Anorlando along with many other deities and later became wife of Flame God Flan. Which is super interesting because you, you, you drop something like... like Flame God Flan on onto us in in a world where where like fire and flame is like the most important thing in the world, and like literally the only time that you mention Flame God Flan is in this ring. Like we we don't know anything else about Flame God Flan other than this, uh, to my knowledge at least, and, and it's. Super, super interesting that they drop something like that on you without without giving anything else than that. And uh, it, it's clearly stated here also that Guinevere left Anorlando. This is not Guinevere. Uh, this is an illusion held up by Gwendolyn. And uh, Gwendolyn we will talk a, a, a bit about later on. Um, he's an interesting character, but uh, for now... You, like usually what I, what I would do here in a normal playthrough would be just to to, uh, to destroy this uh, this illusion of Guinevere and then go kill uh, Gwendolyn which is kind of the, the the easier way of going about it but uh, because we are we, we are here for for the lore more than uh, than, than anything really we uh, we're gonna do it the normal way. And uh, before we go down to Gwyndolin, we're going to have to traverse the catacombs. Which uh, may be the next place that we go to. Like now that we have the Lord Vessel, the the, um, the game opens up for us uh, in in a way that, that it, it, it never has before. Like now we have, have some... Um, some big, big decisions to make on, on where to go. But... Uh, First of all, let's talk to Siegmeier. Well, fancy meeting you here. You did much for me up above. I am grateful. You know, I was thinking the gates, the old fortress. Was that your doing? Yes, I knew it. It seemed like an unlikely coincidence. Well, am I fortunate? This knight of Katarina thanks you sincerely. Please, take this as a token of my gratitude. Get the uh, emit force. There you are. I'll be heading down below shortly. There's nothing worthwhile up above. No worries. Venturing is my life. I'm prepared for the worst. <laughs> yeah, he, he's heading down below. And uh, now for the first time we see his, uh, his weapon and, and shield as well, which he hasn't had out before. Having a, a piercing shield and uh, the the Zweihanda. 
now that we have our firekeeper soul we can go down to uh, here and uh, return firekeeper soul and anastasia is back thank you i am anastasia of astora now i can continue my duty as a keeper but I only hope that my impure tongue does not offend. Forgive me. I am impure. My tongue never intended for restoration. Please, if you have any heart, leave me be. I wish not to speak. So she says that her her tongue is impure and uh, never intended for uh, restoration and uh, that that she she should not speak but we we still don't get any information on why uh, her tongue was taken out or um, if it was uh, by her own doing or someone else that that did it to her but she also she also says that she wishes not to speak so uh, that that kind of indicates that she did it to herself or that she has just found her her, her peace with uh, with what has happened to her heavens you have done it you have retrieved the lord vessel after a thousand years it is you it is really you Rawr! Rawr! Forgive me. I really should calm down. Now, let us take that vessel on a journey. I assume that you are ready. Now, be still. This is the Firelink Chamber for the successor of Lord Gwyn. Now. Very well. As King Seeker, I shall now instruct you, the Lord's successor, in your next task. To achieve your fate, fill the vessel with powerful souls, commensurate to the great soul of Gwyn. Scarce few possess such brilliant souls. Grave Lord Nito, the Witch of Isolith, the Four Kings of New Londo, who inherited the shards of Gwyn's soul, and Lord Gwyn's former confidant, Seath the Scaleless. All of their souls are required to satiate the Lord Vessel. Are you ready? Then we shall return. Stay still for a moment.
thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye.